Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Every Cadbury, welcome all. I'm expecting everybody's blessed health along your blessed family. And hopefully you are feeling great and thankful. Yes, I would like to listen the good news, the bad news, quotations, or holy words of Holy Quran. If anything, so please. Sir, I have bad news. Yes, please. Sir, sir in India, the COVID-19 in one day and 3,64,000 cases are registered in one day. Yes. That is. Yes, anybody else? So I, have, I have one quotation. The quotation says, the winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. Mm, good. Yes, enough. Okay, then. So let's go to the vocabulary. Okay, I'm going to give you four words. The first one is photophile. The second one is helophile. Uh, the third one is enophile. And the fourth one is nectophile. Now I know you don't know the meaning of these words, but you have to just guess from your own self which one are you? Are you a photophile, helophile, enophile, nectophile? And just select one word and check the meaning whether you have selected the correct option or not. Which one I am? I am photophile, maybe helophile, of course not enophile maybe nectophile now which one audio select one word okay i'm going to tell the meaning photophile photophile means a person who loves light a person who loves light so that person is called photophile like they love different lightning systems, mix colors, mix, it's not mix, um, mix lightning and all those things. That person is called photophile. Helophile. Helophile means a person who loves sunlight. A person who loves sunlight, that person is called helophile. The third one means a person who loves booze. Booze means alcohol. A person who loves alcohol, so that person is called enophile. Nectophile is a person who loves darkness. A person who loves darkness who loves night that person is called nectophile now tell me honestly which one have you selected mr daniel i have selected a nectophile okay and are you yes sir 
Okay. And Arsalan, which one have you selected? Need to file. And Samira, which one have you selected? Uh, sir, I selected uh, selected uh, T one, two, and four. Wow, two and four. I told you to select one. You selected all. Good. Now. Sir. Your voice is cutting, I'm sorry. Turjan, which one have you selected? Sir, I have chosen, sir, I have chosen Nick to file, but I'm not, I'm completely opposite of it. It means you're a hell of fire. Yes, sir. And Sadaf? I selected who to file. And are you? Yes, sir. And Hassan? Uh, sir, I selected Okno file. What? Uh, sir, third one. Okno file. What? Okno file. Okno file. Enno file. Enno file. Are you? Are you in no, a file? Mm. Okay. Now let's come to the activity sheet. This is then. Today we are going to go for the perspectives, rules, and regulation. Let's listen to audio. A, you can swim here. Which sign? One, two, three, four, which one? Sir, the voice is so slow. I know there is a problem. You can swim here. Which picture? One, two, three, or four? Number second. Number second. And number B, you aren't and allowed to take photos here. Seven. Seven. Five. Seven. 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 You have to fasten your seat belts. So number six. six, six. six. One. You have got the Take off your shoes to enter. Number, Number two. one. Six, six. Number one. You are six. allowed to park here. Number four. Number four. Eight. You. Number four. You can turn left. Four. Eight. Number one. Eight. Number eight. Number eight. Pets aren't allowed in this area. Number three. Number third one. You have to turn off electronic devices in this area. Number five. 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 Where might you see the signs in part? I give two suggestions for each one. Like for example, I probably see this sign and it means you are supposed to park here and probably you're not supposed to park an aeroplane, right? Okay. And besides that, I have seen this sign and probably it means that pets are not allowed to enter. So which sign have you seen and what does it mean 
and give two suggestions regarding that sign. Sir, I have seen fifth one that mobile is not allowed to use it, mostly in the academies I have seen. So I think we should not use mobile. Sir, uh, I have seen fifth one. Sir, I see eight one that you can't exit from this. Sir, I've seen the sixth one, which is of the seat belt, mostly uh, in Islam, but uh, it is this tag is pasted on roads to bind your seat belts. And also the camera one. Uh, in one of the malls in the market, we went there. It, 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 uh, the sign was posted not to use camera, and it's not allowed to take pictures. I've seen uh, the post and fact with this one. And Rosalan, you? Sir, uh, I need a five one. Because we use mobile for a lot of time, so it will. So when we will use mobile for a lot of time, so we will then become something like. In the second sign, you can see. Arsalan, you have to ask this question, what is the meaning of this question? Which one have you seen? Which one have you seen? Sir, I have seen this question. Which one have you seen? Sir, I have seen this question. So, where have you seen? Where have you seen? And what does this mean? We in a market, when we enter to enter to shop, so there's I mean the. पर अजीब नहीं है सलाम आप मार्केट में जाते हो यहाँ पे ये पहला वाला शूज का निशान मिलता है कि मतलब शूज आप मत पहनो यहाँ पे तो मार्केट में क्या है मार्केट के बाहर शूज उठा लोगे So there is one shop in Marquita and uh, this shop I see this. Yes, Samira, what do you want to say? Uh, um, I don't want to use this one. Okay, now let's proceed forward. Oh, once again, grammar. It's very easy. Permission, obligation, majburi, prohibition, uh, like probability. Probability means how much you are sure that this thing will happen. Prohibition also means that you are allowed and you are not allowed. Okay. If you want to talk about the permission, so you can uh, ask with the help of what can or allowed. For example, he's allowed to, he's not allowed to, he can do it, he cannot do it. Obligation, if you want to talk about your majburi, so you can say with the help of have to and have got to. Eki chize. And have to, the con, uh, shortening is what? Have to. Clear? And you can also use must over here. And for prohibition, it means you are not allowed. Jab aapko allowed nahi hai. So you can say you cannot turn or you are not allowed or you are not permitted. Understood? So these three things are very easy and we have already discussed this permission, obligation. Only this is new. So you can talk about the prohibition with the help of what? Are not, is not, am not, and can't. For the not doing anything. Any question, please? No, sir. Sir, can we use current for prohibition? You, in the past, regarding past. Okay, sir. And could is also used for the permission as well. 
Now use the language and the grammar box. This is the grammar box to talk about these signs. The first signs means you have got to use the stairs. Yes, I think you are. And the second, you are not allowed to. So you can talk about the permission, obligation, and prohibition. For example, uh, the second sign means you are not allowed to uh, listen to music or you are not allowed to connect your headphone. The third sign means you can throw the trash in the bin. The fourth sign means like this. So two, two students will discuss about the different signs. The first sign, the second sign, one person will talk about this sign, the second person will talk about this sign. Kilius, so Durjan and Samira. Uh, Durjan said, uh, the first sign means uh, you have got to use the stairs in case of a fire. Yeah, I think you're right. And the second one, I think shows that you should not use, uh, you have not to use the earphones or your headphones, or you cannot connect your headphones in this area. Yes, you're right. Daniel and Hassan. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, use your camera or you can't make the video and the second thing is that um you can't uh, use headphones here and it's not loud okay thank you sadaf and arsalan I think in the fifth picture is about that uh, you are not allowed to eat uh, in um, you are not allowed to eat in the class or in, in any academy. Can you repeat your voices and clear? Okay. Easy. So let's proceed. Discussion. Play by the rules. How many rules can you think of each of these places at the gym? How many rules can you talk about the rules at the gym? In the same case, how many rules you can talk about at a public swimming pool and on an airplane and a museum and a movie theater at work? For example, at the gym, you have to wear sneakers or other athletic shoes. You are not allowed to wear regular shoes. So on an airplane, so which kind of rules can you make? For example, in an airplane, you are supposed to Fasten your seat, but you are not supposed to walk here and there. You are not supposed to. Uh, you are not supposed to connect uh, music without headphone. Clear? So in the same case at the gym, which kind of rules can you say? You are not allowed to come in uh, traditional dresses. You are supposed to come in fitness clothes. You are not supposed to wear sandals, but you are supposed to wear fitness shoes. Clear? So you have to talk about that rules you are supposed to discuss the rules at work for example i'm at the uh, institute right now at the, i'm at the organization right now which kind of rules i'm supposed to follow uh, i'm supposed to come on i'm not supposed to i'm not supposed to turn off the fan while it's summer i'm not supposed to wear my shoes and carpeted glasses right i'm supposed to play the audios while taking the class. Understood. So Samira and Durjan. Uh, at work, we, uh, we have to um, no, uh, don't go uh, here and there. Uh, we have to um, focus. We have to focus on our work and no, or don't we? We have to not play uh, music and cartoons. Watch, watch cartoons. I will talk about the uh, the rules in a museum. In a museum, uh, you cannot eat food. Uh, that uh, the, for eating food, you have a specific time. 
and you cannot uh, also you are not allowed to take photos or to capture videos uh, moreover uh, you should not talk loudly with each other and uh, you should not touch the things which are present in museum and uh, the last point is that uh, smoking is not allowed in museum Hassan and Daniel I understand in them I said about in the movie theater the movie theater um, the rules are, are like this that um, you have to be silent and listen to a movie and um, you should not see others uh, while they are listening to the movie and uh, you should not sit in front of them and uh, you should not make light there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on uh, an airplane, uh, you should you can't uh, leave your seat uh, without any uh, without any. Sir, majburi ko kya kehte hain? Obligation. Obligation. Without any obligation, uh, or uh, you can't uh, you can play the uh, loud loudly uh, songs uh, or movies, and uh, you can't uh, you can you can. See, you can, if you want to see a movie, so uh, uh, be silent. It means you also have a headphone or earphone, and you can't watch an air, airplane. airplane. Okay, Arsala and Sadaf. Arsalan, I'll talk about the, the rules and regulations um, at the gym. In, in gym, you're not allowed to turn on the fan after exercise. And during exercise, you're not allowed to eat and drink. And also, you are not allowed um, to use a mobile. And um, you, are, uh, you are allowed to listen to songs. I am the whole visuals are really good visuals are so of your yes and also you are not smoking okay I think these are very easy. Now, as you said that uh, you cannot listen, so we cannot do it right now. But somehow, let's see, listen to four countries about driving. Number the situation they're discussing in the correct order. Okay, so without listening, we cannot do it and you cannot listen at the moment. So let's go to them. Reading. Okay, idioms, like I have already told you about the idiom. So yes, anybody who can tell me what are idioms? Uh, sir, those words uh, who are not uh, telling are correct meaning. Yes. Yes, Durjan. Sir, idioms are those words which do not give their exact meaning. They give a hidden meaning. Correct. Like most probably we are using 24, 7, 23 skiru or cash 22. Skim the article, it means read the main member. Match the pictures one, two, and three to the paragraphs. Okay, uh, you have two minutes. Come on, skim. Look at the pictures. A, B, C. A is matching with which picture? B is matching with, uh, with which picture? And C as well. Come on, skim.
Yes, paragraph A is matching with which picture? C. Third um, one. Number. Third. Third one. Third. Third one. Uh, feeling under the weather. And picture two, paragraph B. Number four. Number two. Number two. Number four. And so it is showing the camel one. Yes. And the C one is number uh, two. Second one. C bell. Two. Okay. Idioms can be a problem for language learners. Race. They often seem to have make absolutely no sense at all. For example, imagine your English friend Sam tells you his math exam was a piece of cake. Do you imagine him at school sitting in front of a sweet desert with nothing but a pen to eat at it? In fact, he said that the exam was really easy. It's important to learn some useful English idioms and knowing their origin helps us to remember them. Here are some stories of three English idioms. If you ask a friend to hang out, you might hear, sorry, I can't tonight. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Under the weather means feeling sick, headache. It may sound like rain is coming, but really it means that your friend feels sick. This expression came from sellers. Seller means, oh, who often got seasick when bad weather tossed the ship. Tossed the ship means moving here and there from side to side. The sailors went down to the bottom part of the ship away from the storm and where the ship's rocking was gentler. Rocking was gentler means over here, uh, it seems to be very smooth. If you have a difficult roommate, you might say, my roommate has loud parties every night. But last straw was the, but last night was the last straw. Last straw means last problem. They played music till 5 a.m. I'm moving out. A last straw is a final problem that makes someone take action. This expression is a short form of phrase, the last straw that broke the camel's bake. It means the last problem that uh, that broke the camel's bake. It means that was the last problem and that is the completely destroyed the person. This idea is that when even though a single piece of straw is very light, many pieces added together will be too heavy for a camel to carry. Mm -hmm. True. Now, have you ever asked someone if they know something and then they reply, that rings a bell. They are not hearing music. That they, they mean that they are what you are saying sounds familiar. It means I know the situation. I know the solution of that. And they think they have heard it before. This idiom comes from the fact that bills are used to remind people of many things. Traditionally, bills would toll for an important event, like a wedding. School bells tell you that the class is starting and even the alarm chim. Okay, chim means, uh, what we can say, alarm chim. Alarm chim is as simple as that uh, alarm clock. You, you can take it like this at the moment. On your phone reminds you that it's time to get up. Any question, please? Uh, searching means a bedina. Sorry? Yes, you can take the meaning like that. Bilkul. Okay. Sir, a last problem means? Last problem. Last problem means last problem. Okay, sir. Now, read the article and correct the false statements below. You can guess the meaning of an idiom if you understand each word. Correct or wrong? Yes, sir. Wrong. Correct. Yes, sir. Wrong. You cannot understand its meaning. You have to learn it because it is not giving the actual meaning. 
In the past, people knew about important events when they heard shouting. Um, fall true. True. Like in the past time when they were shouting, it means they are knowing that something is going to be very important. A camel's fall down if it has to carry too much water. False. Uh, correct. False. False. So what is the correct one? A camel is found if it has to carry too much stuff. Not water, but too much True. stuff, uh, things. Sailors used to feel sick. Number four. Sailors used to feel sicker when they went to the bottom of the ship. True. False. True. Now, complete a sentence with the correct form of one idiom, okay? Just one idiom. Julie has a bad call at the moment, and she is, now which one? The last straw under the weather or that rings bell? Julia had a bad cool at the moment, and she is, which idiom is under the weather hai, rings bell or the last straw? Under the weather. I don't remember his face, but his his name. His name rings the bell. Rings the rings bell. bell. The neighbors, noisy kids broke my window with the ball, with their ball. It is. Is the last straw. The last straw. The master, definitely. And the common idioms in Pakistan, like I told you, 24, 7, 23, skidoo, catch 22. Uh, it's a piece of cake, right? And other common idioms on the nine cloud, seven sky. These are the common idioms and other more as well. And I think it's enough as well. And hopefully we can take a start unit 15 by tomorrow. Any question, please? No question, no, sir. Sir. So thank you so much for joining the session today. May Allah bless you, bless your family. Take care, love is.